What's that you got cooking? Apple juice stew with apple juice. Mm. Didn't we have that yesterday or the day before? No. Yesterday it was baked apple dew with apple dews, and the day before it was fried apple dews with apple dews. <sighs> I remember now. Sorry, I'm doing what I can to switch up our meals. But in my defense, we have a pretty limited set of ingredients. Hey, I wasn't complaining. I'm glad that you're doing the cooking. Otherwise, I'd be eating, I guess, <laughs> apple juice. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, did you have a chance to look at the engine? Yeah. It does seem like it took some damage upon landing, but I should be able to fix that real quick. Awesome. Your butt's awesome. Hmm. Say it again to my face. Oh, with the lights off. <laughs> Works for me. Uh, no, I didn't do that. Ugh, we must have run out of flow. Weren't you supposed to charge up the nest today? Excuse me if I was working on the engine. I can't do everything. No worries. I'll go get some more outside. If I'm lucky, I'll stumble upon something to spice up the apple juice. <gasps> I'll come with you. Over there, a flow thread. Perfect. Although it seems like one thread won't be enough. No worries, we'll find others. How many more do you think we need? I don't know, three, maybe four? Good thing there are plenty of flow threads around here. Drifting is that useful? It's crucial. It allows you to change direction without having to stop all the time. Do I do that? We all do it. We must look so goofy right now. So what? No one can see us. This is so slow. We're not going anywhere. So? We're gonna need more flow than this for the batteries to make it. One or two more threads and we'll be all set. I'm all charged up. Me too. We can go when you're ready.
This should last us a few days. Now it's our turn to fill up. Huh? I'm hungry. Roasted apple dews with apple dews. I can't tell if you're actually excited about this or if you just enjoy seeing me suffer. <clears throat> How long do you think this is gonna last? The flow? Well, if we keep our consumption in check, I think a few days. No, I meant us. Us here. How long until they come get us? Ah, uh, do we have to talk about this? We are going to need to at some point. We need to be prepared. We need a plan. I'm planning on finishing my plate without hearing about the apiary. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. And FYI, you are the one that ruined the mood, not me. I think it's time to go to bed. If you say so. Hey, we'll never be able to take off in these conditions. We absolutely have to finish repairing the nest. Thanks for letting me know. Let's talk about it. Fine. Uh, I was just gonna ask if you could switch off the light. Oh. You've been mulling it over this whole time? Of course I've been mulling it over this whole time. Thank you for adding one more thing to my mind. Hold on. Are you telling me you hadn't thought about it before? You know what? No, I hadn't thought about it. I'm trying not to think about the apiary. Enjoy what we have here, even if it isn't much. Um... Do you really think that they can come get us here? If we can take the flow bridge here, then so can they. But there's no way they can know where we are. Is there? I cut off the auto nav, the astrolock. Even the landing was all manual. I'm just saying, let's prepare for the worst. At worst, I kill them. Whoa, you. What? If that's what it takes not to go back, I'll do it. No problem. Kill them, steal their ship. By the time they send more guys, we'll be far away. You're seriously not considering? Maybe not. Maybe I am. At worst, we'll know. You're scaring me. <laughs> oh, come on. You're totally safe. You're my teddy bear. 
I'm not sure how I should take this. <laughs> well, take me in your arms for a start. You aren't dressed yet? I put on my pajamas. I mean, to get out. Well, see, I was just wondering, do we have to get out? Can't we just hang in the nest for once? Lounge around, read a book, watch a movie? We don't have movies. Right, sure, but you know what I mean. Come on, the weather's great. But the weather is always great. For now? Who knows, tomorrow could be the beginning of the long winter months. Could last for years. One more reason to stock up on apple juice. Mm. You know, always being right is not necessarily a good quality. On the contrary, many people find it very unappealing. Hmm, you? Not sure. Do you remember where the apple juice were? Can we try and pick something else for a change? Yes! Just like that. Apple juice again. Who knows how long we're going to be stuck here. We might as well stock up. shaking it's shaking it's shaking a lot Is it over? Seems like it. Uh, anything broken? No. No, I don't think so. <sighs> well, except... <sighs> it's not all lost. Well, it is. A bit. Look, we can always search the islet, try and find a way to get to the other side. Such as? I don't know. A rope, a jetpack, spring-loaded shoes, anything. And if we don't find it? If we don't find... Uh, I don't know. That's why we'll have to find something. Okay.
Okay. What? Everything slow motion. <laughs> you goof. I, uh, I think I found something. <gasps> Call me crazy, but this looks like a Bluton. Yup, it looks like a flow bridge. Kind of like the one we took to get here. But smaller? Is that possible? Why not? We still don't really know how the flow bridges work in space. But if the phenomenon can happen on a macro scale, then why not on this one? If there can be flow between two planets, why not two bits of a planet? Okay. If this really is a flow bridge, I'm not sure what we're waiting for. What? Flow bridges are linking one place to another, right? So this one definitely leads someplace. Wait, you want to just get on there without knowing where it goes? It goes elsewhere. I think that's as good a start as any. <sighs> mm. Do we have everyone? Okay? Ooh, here. <laughs> then we're good. <laughs> Looks like we're on another islet. Yeah. The bridge seems to be a link between the islets. If there are any others like this, we may be able to get back to the nest. Do you see what I'm seeing? Uh, a big ugly lizard? No, the mushroom's on its back. Looks like a type of hygrocybe rubicens. Ah, is that good news? Like, can we eat it? Oof, not at all. Unless you're looking for a quick way to unload your kidneys. But don't you find that symbiosis amazing? The movements of the lizard are helping spread the spores. As far as what the lizard is gaining, I'll have to study that closer. Maybe it doesn't even know. Maybe we should tell it. No way. You don't get in the way of Mother Nature's plans. I'll make sure I remember that next time you have salad stuck in your teeth. Like walking. Some things are worse than walking. Like running. <laughs> That's true. I can't even remember the last time I ran. <laughs> Thank you, technology. Have you ever seen such a thing? No, never. Must be an endemic species. I wonder if it's edible. Only one way to find out. Yes, you're right. I'll pick up some berries and run some tests. First, we'll need to observe any cutaneous reactions. Then we'll cook them to eliminate bacteria. Mmm. It's peppery. You did not. Go ahead. Try it. I'm sure you'll love it. Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> oh, yeah. That is peppery. Lightweight. Off we go. Let's pick these. I'm not sure these will go great with the apple dews, but where there's a meal, there's a way. You know what doesn't go great with apple dews? Apple dews. This is a pretty one. Sure they don't get squished. <laughs> I 
You know what? Walking is nice too. That way, you have time to enjoy all the little bugs crawling around. I'm not seeing any bugs. That means we're walking too fast. Over there! Do you see that Zygoptera? Depend. What's a Zygoptera? A dragonfly. Then no. Seems like our mini flow bridge wasn't a good. Wow. That's actually what is that? We should take a closer look. Any idea what's underneath our feet, Mrs. Geologist? I'm a biologist. Isn't that the same thing? Biology, the living. Geology, the rocks. And what makes you think this is not living, pray tell? Uh, it looks like a dust deposition. Some kind of rust. And it looks like this kind of rust is particularly sensitive to flow. What? Look beneath your feet. Oh, there's vegetation underneath. It was probably smothered. Good thing we came this way. That way, look. It looks like the rust is great. We can bring that back to the nest to study it. You know, technically, the Zygoptera aren't quite the same as dragonflies. More like their cousins. Have you been mulling this over the whole time? I was trying to rein it in, lest I would sound too nerdy. But I guess you can't fight your true self. shrubs are completely covered. I hope this one will yield some nice and juicy fruit to thank us. It means there must be others. If we're lucky, they'll bring us back to the nest. We should find the nest if we keep going north. Explain to me how you know which way north is on this planet. Uh, we should find the nest if we keep going straight ahead. <laughs> Thank you. Rust. Saw that.
batteries are empty. Mine too. We need to find the flow threat. This is where we came from. All right, I know. I got a big one. Caught me a threat. Okay, that's kind of cool. You mean really cool? I thought it smelled good around here. No mo flow. Here it is. Flow. All we had to do was ask. I really like this smell. It's almost like freshly cut grass. Except it isn't cut. So just grass, I guess. We almost missed this one. Boba nuts? Aren't we the lucky ones? Uh, what are they? You've never heard of boba nuts? They're one of the most nutritious nuts. 25% carbohydrates, 50% protein, 75% lipids. That adds up to 150%. Precisely. A great mystery of modern science. You're pulling my leg, aren't you? Maybe. But once you have a taste of my boba salad, you will forget all about it. For here or to go? To go. Too bad. I thought this planet was supposed to be a desert. Deserted, not a desert. According to the archives, a colonization plan had been considered by the apiary, with Exanova as the main provider. But the planet was eventually classified as inhospitable. Let me guess. Huh? 
High seismic activity? I don't know. File doesn't say anything about that. Hmm. I hope we don't have any more unpleasant surprises. We're here! We found the nest! But in what state? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. There is no way this thing is flying again. Don't say that. You can make a rock fly with the right tools. Well, maybe. But not this one. Both wings are wasted. The propellers were ripped off. And I'm not even done checking the inside. We weren't really planning on leaving, were we? We don't really have another place to go anyway. I'm tired. Why are we always so unlucky? Uh... <laughs> Hold on. We decide to escape the apiary, which apparently no one has managed to do before us. We punch in some coordinates really at random, only because some obscure document from Exanova vaguely attested to the existence of a habitable planet. By some kind of miracle, we cross the boundaries of the apiary without getting caught. We travel across space in a Class D ship that is totally not designed for that. And in spite of the fact that this is not all terrain, we land without breaking anything. We find food and flow on site, even though we hadn't really planned for it. Finally, we get hit with an earthquake, all right. But we get out of it unscathed. The only real consequence is that the nest is a little bit busted. <laughs> and you think that we're unlucky? You. We are the luckiest people in the universe. That's... that's one way to see it. This planet is our chance to start a new life, with our own rules. Away from the apiary, from the matchmaker and all that loot. And I'd rather endure a thousand earthquakes than risk being away from you. <sighs> what did you say this planet was called again? Source. Source. The beginning of something. Seems like it. <sighs> you sleeping? No, no. I'm just... Unwinding. Whoa. What a mess. And now the nest is all akimbo. This feels weird. Yeah, we'll need to find a way to correct that. But it can wait until tomorrow. I think we've had our share for the day. We deserve some time to relax. If you know what I mean. You can do whatever you want. But I am going to bed. You okay? 
Uh, you? Wake up! <sighs> it's okay. I'm here. <sighs> that was just a nightmare. Everything's fine. That... that wasn't a nightmare. Sure it was. Rest easy. No! I was awake. I, I could hear you. I just couldn't move or yell. I couldn't breathe. It was horrible. Yeah, I'm familiar with that. For real? It used to happen when I was a teenager. You feel something weighing on your stomach? Yeah. On my chest. What was it? I don't know. I used to call it the ball, because sometimes it felt like a huge ball was crushing me. Oh. No, that didn't happen to me. I wouldn't wish it upon you. For me, it resolved itself when I left the foster home. For you, it may be related to the nest. But I don't want to leave the nest. That's not what I meant. You're stuck to the bed, the nest is stuck to the ground. There must be something in that. You've been flying in this thing for years. I bet you're upset to see it in this condition. Huh. No kidding. Which means that if we fix up the nest, this will all go away? Could be. Worst case scenario, the nest will be fixed. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope we'll eventually find the missing parts then. So I can get fixed up too. All right. Now we can see a lot clearer. Yeah, we're not there yet, but that should do the trick for now. Now we just need to figure out how to level the nest. The tractor globe is probably done charging. Let's bring it outside. Do you think that will be enough to lift it? I hope so, because I have no idea what else we can do. We'll never be able to take off in these conditions. We absolutely have to finish repairing the nest. Thanks for letting me know. Might be the only two people on this planet. 